Ahmed Kasim, like most taxi drivers, is an unofficial public opinion pollster. The street is divided between those who prefer a secularist government and those who want a religious party to rule. But many say the secularists are more democratic. He himself voted for the Shia Sadr movement, part of the Shia religious groups that for four years dominated the political landscape. During the March election, they ran on separate tickets and have so far failed to form an alliance. The main disagreement seems to be the post of prime minister. There are those who want them to put their differences aside in order to stay in power, questioning just how the secular alternative would be. Alawi is not good. We tried him in the past. He was harsh with us. He is secular and a Ba'athist. Iyad Alawi's Iraqi list came out ahead in the elections, but only with two seats. Alawi has been outspoken against the influence of religious parties. He is a Shia, but Shia hardliners often dismiss his coalition as a Sunni bloc. Not everybody sees the support from the Sunni community as an impediment. He's a Shia, but the majority on his list are our Sunni brothers. There should be no difference between Sunnis and Shiites. But if religious parties rule, what will the other group do? So Iraqis wait, wait to see what kind of alliances emerge. Not one political group got enough seats to rule alone. Now that could be good news for national reconciliation. That is, if none of the successful lists are excluded from power. And who might be left out is now becoming an ever bigger concern. There are those who warn of instability if Alawi and his coalition partners are left out of the political process. There will be a problem if Sunnis are left out. All we want is peace and stability. Some politicians from Shia religious parties have said Alawi's list should be part of any government, but none have so far endorsed him as prime minister. And while publicly most politicians call for a national unity government, there is little to show for that unity. It's still not clear what kind of power-sharing deal will emerge, if one at all. Zana Khudr, Al Jazeera, Baghdad.